Allie is home, everybody. Allie's home. She looks beautiful in the setup. My setup is uh, as it was when I left, so it's not much going on here. My computer's off and everything. Getting a new device on a vacation was very interesting and added to sort of the fun and to the downtime of this vacation because whenever I wasn't doing anything or before I was going to sleep, I was playing the Ally. And I had to learn how to use this thing kind of on the fly. I haven't really looked things up. And just from me using it, I have a couple of things I need to share. It's been kind of an amazing first week to have to, you know, adapt to a new handheld and learn everything and play things. It's been really fun. In this week, I've traveled with it. I've, you know, had to stay home with it. I've played plugged in. I've played on a dock. I've played offline. I've played in a car. I've, I even went on an airplane. I mean, there was a lot of things I did with this thing and it's first week which is awesome which allows me to share certain experiences early so in this video i want to share the most crucial settings the most important things to keep in mind um, when using the ally just in general i know i'm going to be making a lot of gameplay videos showing off a bunch of different games and everyone's questions always relate to the settings this is going to be more about general settings because this is what i had to do when playing any game and i suggest anyone tries these things whenever they open a game for the first time and if there's no videos on that game you can just experiment and test things for yourself and this is going to kind of help you do that. So here we are on my desktop. As you can see, I've already downloaded a couple of different games and obviously I will be showing those in later videos, but today I wanna to focus on and talk about Armory Crate, which is super important to anyone using this device. It has helped me a ton. It's what makes Windows so much easier to use on this device. So Armory Crate is basically the user interface UI, a software that accompanies the hardware in manipulating settings and just facilitating the experience on this particular hardware. I believe Armory Crate was already on my taskbar right here, um, but you can also access it through the physical buttons on the system. This is an Armory Crate button right here. This pulls up the software and here you can just, you know, navigate, use it, whatever. You can minimize it there or you can press the button again to make it go away. On the left side over here, we have another button and this one pulls up Command Center, which is basically like a quick menu for Armory Crate. You can do things on the fly with this uh, little command center. You can add a bunch of different tiles for different settings. You can also control your volume and brightness here as well as turn off the system. I believe that operating mode, resolution, and refresh rate are the three most crucial settings no matter what you're playing, just like universal settings for the ally itself, even before you get into the actual game settings, whatever game you're playing. I think these are the things that you need to keep in mind when just trying out any game and wanting to either extend battery life or make your performance better. Adding new tiles and manipulating what order they go in is really simple. You'll just simply go to Armor Crate and on the right side here you literally get add buttons or add slots and you can just go through here and see which ones you want to add on there, whatever settings you find most important. And like I said, I found that the operating mode resolution and refresh rate are the most important settings on here. So I put them all at the top so that when I pull this menu up, they're all sitting right there up top. All right, so I opened up Oli Oli World while I talk about these three settings and I'm just gonna use it as an example, okay? Operating mode, super important. It basically lets you limit what watts you're using on the system. Uh, we got 25 watts turbo, 10 watts silent mode, 15 watts performance mode. And then if we plug in the charger, uh, we have the 30 watts turbo mode as well, which if you're playing a super demanding game and you need to use 30 watts, then you're not really worrying about battery life. But basically how this works is the less demanding the game, the more you can lower your watts, the more you can save on battery. The more demanding the game, the less battery life you're gonna get and the higher the watts you're using. And you know, it makes it run hotter, it makes it work harder basically. And that's kind of how operating mode works. If you're playing a super demanding game, you're gonna wanna crank that up. If you don't crank it all the way up, you might run into issues. You're basically limiting how much power the system is using. You can try running a demanding game with 10 watts or 15 watts, but the performance is probably gonna go way down or it might not work. For example, I can run the Modern Warfare 2 you know, menu at 10 watts. The system's not really trying to run the game super hard in the menu, but as soon as it tries to load the actual match or the game, then it might not work. I've had like freezes and just like crashes because you know, it doesn't have enough power to actually load the match. But there are some instances as well where you're playing a more demanding game and you lower the watts maybe to 15 per, you know, 15 watts performance mode and the game might just be less frame rate or something. It still might work, just not as good. But that's basically how operating mode works. If I'm playing super demanding games like Call of Duty, I'm turning it all the way up to 25. 
but I can't expect too much battery life. If I'm playing a less demanding game like Oli Oli World, I can set it to 10 and still get really great performance and it's not loud or using a bunch of battery life. If I turn on the real time monitor, you can also see how many watts are being pulled in that moment. So. Oli Oli World is a 2D side-scrolling game, you know, uh, we're at 60 FPS and we're only using 9 watts. Like I said though, what the setting does is limits how many watts you're using, so even if I crank this up to 15, doesn't mean the game's going to boost 5 more watts out of itself or something, it's, it doesn't need to hit 15, but if the game needed to, then the system would allow it to reach that high. So on silent mode, it won't pass 10 but now that I have it at 15, it's hitting about 12 or 13 watts. We can run this game just fine either way. We don't really need the extra five watts for anything because the game runs just fine at 10 watts. So I can just switch that back to 10 watts and the game works perfectly fine. If I'm trying to hit 60 frames and I can do it at 10 watts, then that's wonderful for games like this. All right, next up we have resolution. The ally lets you switch between 720p and 1080p on the fly with this tile here. And I personally like to use the 720p option when I'm playing in portable mode and not on a dock or anything. I think it looks perfectly fine and it increases the frame rate. That's why I use 720p mode more. It just lets me get better performance basically. And the system has to do less to achieve the resolution, especially on such a small screen. I don't really think you need the 1080p. Now, if you're mirroring your screen to a TV or a monitor, then you're going to want to go up to 1080p at least. You're going to have a very blurry image if you're on 720p playing on a big screen. 720p works really well. Um, 1080p hitting 116 FPS right now at 10 watts on 1080p, so I guess it's, you know, it's not that bad. But we got to keep in mind that I'm playing a 2D side scroll game, it's not super demanding. And finally, out of the big three settings here, we have refresh rate. We can go between 60 hertz refresh rate and 120. Um, 120 hertz on this screen feels absolutely amazing. It feels buttery smooth, but it will kill your battery life a whole lot faster. And these three settings have been absolutely crucial to any experience I've tried on the Ally, and it's just something to really keep in mind when trying games out. Mess around with those. Um, you know, tweak things, see what gives you better battery life, better performance. You're gonna want to mess with those even before you know messing with the in-game settings, or you know simultaneously with the in-game settings. I'm gonna use the game I'm currently playing to show off some pretty awesome settings when it comes to you know saving some battery life and still getting high frame rate. Obviously, this is going to be a result of the game not being that demanding. So I'm on silent mode, 10 watts, 720p, and 120 hertz refresh rate. FPS limiter, make sure that's off because I just realized earlier it was on and I had 120 hertz refresh on and I wasn't hitting the 120 hertz even though the game can actually do it. So at 10 watts here, I'm still able to hit 120 frames at 720p and my system's not crying for help. So now I can come to the conclusion that this game works really well at 10 watts, 720p, and can still hit 120 frames, even with those lower resolution and lower watt usage, which is awesome. Now let's see what happens when I crank this resolution up to 1080p on silent mode. So right away, we're at 70, 80, 97, all right, so it's not a consistent 120 or 116, whatever it was when it was at 720, which is a pretty clear difference. So if I want to play at 1080p and still hit those frames, I can see that the watts are being you know, limited to 10 right there. I can probably crank this up to 15 now and then hit that uh, higher frame rate. So now at 15 watts, I'm once again hitting 120 frames. And that's kind of how you go about getting better performance and selecting your settings for whatever game you're playing. That's how I've done it. Let me turn off this real-time monitor because I don't need those numbers up there. Um, but yeah, this is Command Center and Armory Crate, super important, super crucial to any experience you're playing or, you know, whatever you're doing on the Ally. Whether you're trying to save battery life or make your performance better, these are different ways to do it and very easy on the fly sort of ways to do it that don't require you to go into the in-game settings and things like that. Obviously, the in-game settings on whatever game you're playing are going to be important, but I think these big three up here, these main command center, ROG, ally specific settings are going to make or break an experience. These are the three settings that I've tampered with the most in the week that I've had the system. There are other really important settings on here uh, like AMD RSR that probably help you a ton in performance if it actually works. I haven't really tested this out myself on everything, um, but basically it's like a universal FSR feature. It, you know, 
downscales the game to or renders the game at a lower resolution and then upscales it to look like normal you guys know your typical fsr or nvidia dlss kind of technology um haven't truly tested that out in a lot of games i also haven't really played that many games i mean i have a few of them downloaded and i've tried them out a little bit but i haven't had like extensive you know testing or play time with a lot of these games i've played a whole lot of Oli Oli and <laughs> It's just, it was easy to pick up and just play, you know, it's a skateboarding game, it's aesthetically pleasing, um, it doesn't require a lot of battery life, and when I'm traveling, I don't want to sit there and concentrate on, you know, a super hardcore AAA game, uh, but I did try Harry Potter while I was on the airplane, so I guess there's that, but I did manage my battery life pretty well at the same time. I played some Ollie Ollie World at 10 watts for the start of the trip, and then as I realized, okay, I'm gonna have enough battery to play, you know, a little bit of Hogwarts, I popped in Hogwarts where I started it up, and I played that at 25 watts for a little bit, and it worked really well. But definitely a whole lot I need to show off and try out on here. This is kind of like a homecoming video, and the things I've done so far in this little week and the settings I've messed with a lot recently um, when opening up games, so I thought I'd share that. You can expect a whole lot more ROG Ally gameplay videos, settings, and you know thoughts, opinions, whatever I have to share. I will share that with you guys.